What is up? My name is Leon. I am a senior in Brown's PLME and recently I've been getting a lot of questions and comments regarding the PLME applications process for this year. And so I thought today I'd go over the most important part of your application and that is the personal statement. So why is the personal statement arguably the most important part of your application? Well, it's one of the few opportunities that you have as an applicant to create a human connection with the admissions officer. So at this point, they've read about everything. They've read about your accomplishments in high school, your SAT, your GPA, but what's missing is the why behind it all. And so the personal statement is a way for you to express yourself in this way and to really add personality to your application. To show them what makes you unique, to show them what makes you passionate, and to add narrative to your statistics. And on a very basic level, it's about telling a personal story that others can resonate with. At the end of the day, that is what's gonna make all the difference in your application. So that stuff is kind of applicable to any admissions essay you write for college, for med school, for residency. But you clicked on this video to learn about how to write the PLEMI essay. And so let's get right into it. So the thing about the PLEMI personal statement is that it's very similar to a personal statement you would write for medical school admissions, but with one subtle difference. And that is, as a PLEMI, you are going to be accepted into medical school as a high school student. So you're going to have to justify that additional point in your essay. But other than that, both types of essays can be divided into two components. And the first component, obviously, is why medicine. So for Plimi, it's going to be why medicine as a high school student. So how come at the young age of 17 or 18, you want to already commit yourself to a lifelong career in medicine? What is your rationale behind that decision? And you can follow this up with evidence that includes personal experience or specific knowledge about medicine or specific passions within medicine. And then the second component is, well, why this program? Why PLEMI, right? There's so many other BSMD programs out there. How come you chose this one? So those are the two essential questions that you have to think about how to answer. And I bet you my undergrad tuition that this will be the same for forever because they're always gonna to wanna to know why you wanna choose medicine at such a young age. And they're always gonna to wanna to know why you chose this specific program. Sure, the essay prompts, the word counts, the specific questions they ask every year are gonna be a little different, but on a very basic level, it just boils down to these two questions. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the process I took personally to answer these two questions of why medicine and why plimi. So let's start with why medicine. Okay, let's get my notes out for this. So what you want to do is you want to start early, right? Start brainstorming. So what I did was I took a blank sheet of paper and started writing down every single experience that I've had with medicine, starting from when I was very young. So this included like research, shadowing, going to the doctor's office, listening to my mother's stories because she would talk to me about her work experiences as an OR nurse. And of course, like watching movies or TV shows where there was a hospital setting and you were looking at doctors doing their thing. And the whole point of this for me was to get the juices flowing, to start thinking about my exposure to medicine, you know, all my different experiences and trying to put them all together and compare them with each other. And then after I thought I was done with that, I had a nice long list. I started to cross out the experiences I thought were not very impactful. For example, watching movies or TV shows about doctors is a pretty good way to learn about the general societal norms or notions regarding medicine, but it's not a good way to explore why you yourself want to pursue medicine. You're just looking at how others perceive what being a doctor is like. So I crossed that out and then I continued down my list. And then I got to the point about my mother. So I began to realize that growing up with a mother as an OR nurse gave me a very unique experience with medicine at a very young age. So I would grow up hearing stories about her experiences at work in the hospital, working alongside doctors, residents, other nurses. And so I began to form this idea of what the field was like when I was very young. And so before the first time I shadowed or even walked into the hospital, everything I knew about that environment was from her. And to be honest, if it hadn't been for her, then I would likely not have been into the medical field. You know, I probably would have gone for something else because I just wouldn't have that background in it. So I knew in my applications essay, I had to talk about my mother and how she influenced me, at least mention her because she did have such a profound impact on my decision to pursue this field. But moving on, I realized that I couldn't just talk about her experiences. I had to focus primarily on my experiences because that was gonna carry the most weight. 
and help me to tell my personal story in the best way. And so I began to consider my other options. So medicine on a very basic level is composed of clinical practice and research. And those two activities are both things you can gain exposure to as a high school student. And so I was lucky to have exposure to both. But very early on, I began to realize that my research experience was not very impactful for me. It wasn't something that I truly enjoyed. It wasn't something that I looked forward to doing. Of course, naturally, I didn't really want to talk about it in my essay because I just felt like it wouldn't be genuine and I wouldn't be able to convey my passion for medicine through that medium. I couldn't talk about research in a meaningful way, so I decided to talk about my shadowing experiences and I thought that if I could combine my secondary information regarding medicine from my mother with my primary experiences in medicine through shadowing, that would be a good story to tell. So this was my thought process around junior year, beginning of junior year, right, when I was thinking about my applications. And so this was good. I had like a bare bones outline of what I wanted to talk about, but I still needed to narrow it down a lot because in clinical practice, there's so many different aspects that you can focus on. And, you know, in the essay, I would only have like 250 or 500 words to fully express myself. So I need to focus on a very specific scenario and really what I learned from it. What I needed was some inspiration. So this inspiration came with luck, just a lucky incident. So I was shadowing in the ER the summer before my senior year. And there happened to be a case with a teenager who was around the same age as I was at that time. He had gotten into a serious sporting accident and was transported to the hospital. And when he came in, the hospital, the whole ER just came alive. Everyone was rushing to his table and trying to help him in any way possible. There were police there, his parents were there. And I was just standing to the side of the room, looking at it all transpire. You know, up to that point, I haven't really seen anything like that, where there was such a rapid response to save a life and just everyone coming together in a common united effort. And the next day I woke up and my mother told me that that kid had passed away. For me at the age of 17, death was still kind of like an abstract concept to me. I thought about it for days afterward, about how that kid who was my age and was breathing on the ER table is now passed away, is now gone from this earth. So yeah, obviously I didn't think about writing my applications essay about this incident immediately. I really had to process it a lot. And then I began to realize, okay, there are some pieces here and there of this whole experience that I could mesh together into a story that combined what I already knew about medicine, my previous experiences to convey my point, my why. So that was it. I had all the raw materials. I just had to combine it in a way and mesh it together so that I would have a 500 word essay. And that's when the real work began, you know, a lot of trial and error, just going through different drafts, having people read my drafts and just going back and revisiting the essay every single day. That led me to the admissions essay I eventually submitted and that is what got me into this program. So now let's talk about why Plimi. So answering the question, why this program, why this school, you have to talk about fit, right? And that involves knowing your stuff about the program, like knowing what they offer. And you have to somehow connect your background and your personal experiences with the ideals, the philosophy, behind the program. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of overlap because there's only so many aspects of the program that all the applicants are gonna be talking about, but you make yourself unique by connecting your unique experiences with those aspects. So for example, the Plimi offers unique research experiences for undergrads. Well, why do you personally care about that? Because obviously, generally, it's a good thing to have research funding, but why does it matter to you? And another one, Plimi gives students freedom to not have to take traditional pre-med courses, apply to medical school, or even take the MCAT. Of course, most people want that, right? No one wants to take the MCAT if they don't have to. But why does it matter to you? How come you want this for yourself? And so the way I answered this question is that I talked about how I loved learning many different topics, ranging from like business to history to English in high school and how I wanted to continue that in college. And Plimi would give me the freedom, the flexibility to pursue all those interests while still having a future in medicine. And in the process, I would become a more well-rounded physician in the future because I had these diverse experiences. So that was kind of the argument I made there. 
So this is a good opportunity to sell yourself to the admissions office and not just tell them why Plimi is a good fit for you because that's an easy question to answer. So many people want to get into Plimi every single year, but of course only a few get in. You have to talk about why you're a good fit for Plimi, why they should accept you because you have your own unique experiences and perhaps they line up with the ideology of Plimi. So you have to express that and make the argument. So that is how I answered the why Plimi question. And now I'm going to be going over some additional advice, some general advice not really related to any specifics. So um, the first one is that the whole thing is a process, right? So like I said before, the initial brainstorming step is just the first one in many. Um, after you brainstorm your ideas, you have to start narrowing down which ones matter the most to you. And then once you settle on that idea, you have to flesh it out, put it into essay form, proofread it, make sure your delivery, your English, your grammar, your everything regarding the essay is good. And of course, it has to fit the word limit. Did I mention that? Maybe I did. I personally thought about my essay or went back to revise it every single day from when I first started writing it to when I submitted it. So that goes to show, you know, if you want to write something that's good, you have to spend time and effort on it and really kind of marinate your thoughts through that process. You'll get something, some inspiration that will elevate the level of your writing and your story. So yeah, back to the story idea. It's about telling a personal story of how your experiences define the person you are today. And Plimi wants to hear about that. They know that everyone is unique. So they want to hear why you're unique in your own words. So I think if you can distinguish yourself by being genuine and expressing yourself honestly, you'll be at an advantage. And that brings me to my last point, which is you have to show through your words, through your story, instead of just telling. And that of course involves some decent writing skills. But for example, anyone can say, I'm passionate about medicine. I love to help people. I love to save lives. That is what doctors do. And you know, I'm a good person. So I like to do that. Anyone can say that, right? The admissions officers have heard those same things countless times in different forms. And I'm pretty sure every applicant mentions at least one of those reasons in their essay. But if you can convey those reasons by drawing it out, by adding empathy, emotion, creating connection with your reader, then that will put you at another level. And it comes down to, like I said many times, telling a story, becoming a good storyteller. That is what you want to do for your personal statement. All right, so that's it for the video. If you found value in it, give it a like below. If you want to watch my video about the pros and cons of the Plimi program, click that link below in the video description. And if you want to read the Plimi essay that I wrote that I talked about in this video with my in-depth analysis of why it worked, click that link below too. Oh, and also comment below if you have any other Plimi questions. I'll try to make a video answering those soon. All right, that's it for now. Peace.